Well, I love crop residue out in the field. It protects the soil from wind and water erosion. That's great, but eventually that crop residue has to break down. If you're seeing residue from two crops ago and you say, man, I've got multiple years of residue here, you know that there's a problem going on. And what the real problem is, is you don't have enough microbial activity going on in your soil to break that residue down. So how do you get more microbial activity in the soil? Well, you want to do everything you can to raise a great crop. That's really where it starts. So we talk about having great drainage, and part of the reason why is because if the water table comes up, it's going to kill all the aerobic microbes. That's a bad thing. So have good drainage, keep that water table down. So we're talking about having tile out there, most likely, and then having good calcium levels. You want your calcium levels at least 65% and preferably closer to 75%. That makes your soil a little bit more porous. I'd also say having good levels of organic matter. That can really help you. And then beyond that, just balance out all the nutrients in your soil. Again, do everything you can to raise a great crop. That's what you need to raise great microbes because that crop ends up kicking a whole bunch of sugars out into the soil and that just means that the microbial population typically explodes.